I, I hope you are doing great today. This video is regarding Durbuster, and it was brought to my attention by a student that he was trying to learn Durbuster, and a lot of these videos, to him, were complex. In other words, they're just going over every setting and, you know, a 15, 20 minute video on something that could be literally a five minute video. So let's make this a simple video for Durbuster, which is a very powerful uh, program that's used by uh, penetration testers, bug bounty hunters, so on and so forth. Um, so let's get to it. Durbuster, what is it? It is a uh, program that will um, basically uh, brute force, use uh, brute force techniques to um, identify folders on a particular website and allow you as the penetration tester to go ahead and really know what is on that website as far as um, folders, files, and it will also show some that you uh, that are uh, undetectable, some that you're not able to access. But by, again, using the techniques in Durbuster brute forcing, you're able to um, piece everything together and therefore um, use this in your techniques, whether it's uh, capturing the flag uh, for a competition, uh, penetration testing, uh, so on and so forth. So let's just get to it. So what you want to do is you're opening Kali Linux. Okay. Um, this comes default in Kali Linux. Okay. And this is all you're doing. So type in their buster. And there is a user interface. Uh, by the way, this is a uh, program that is based on Java. Okay. Um, I find it to be very simple, straightforward, easy to learn. And yes, this is something that you will be using. So learn it and don't make it a big project because it's really simple to use. So you'll see the interface open up, um, OWASP Durbuster version number. Um, and at this point, what we want to do is we want to put the IP address of the uh, system whether it is in your home lab or it is a client that you are uh, penetration testing, sorry about that. Um, and um, what this does is you enter it here. Okay, so I'll get to it. Port 80, and then put that forward slash there. So this right here is the home lab IP address that I will be targeting. Um, moving here, you just, just leave this on default. Okay, we're going to keep this simple. Uh, number of threads, 10. If you click go faster, then you're going to move up to 200. Now, um, when you are doing, let's say you are doing bug bounty, you have to abide by the criteria from the company um, as far as connections. So you don't want to necessarily click go faster if that is not allowed with your particular uh, project that you are engaged in. Um, the next thing is pure brute force or list-based brute force. So you want to use list-based here, okay? Um, this is something that is, is going to be default, all right? I don't even want to get super technical and just explaining the other one, but uh, trust me, you, you're, you really should have very little reason to be choosing uh, pure brute force. Okay, so um, where was I? You want to pick user. Um, if we are in share, then from share, you want to go to word list, okay? And in wordless, then you will see the folder, so their buster. And obviously, if this is your first time using it, you may be well, like, what's going on? Which one do I pick? Well, in 99% of the cases, 
the um, referee list 2.3 medium is the one that you will be choosing okay um let's say you're working with wordpress or, you know your your typical um php apache uh, server system right here if you are um, using uh let's say iis um windows server you may then want to you know choose one of these directory list lowercase um, but for the most part this stays standard directory list 2.3 medium then we are going to select it and at that point you have file extension php right in this case that's appropriate um if you wanted to add regardless of the technology that you're scanning you can go ahead and, and add additional file extensions there but again php leave that alone and then we're going to go ahead and start now one of the thing to keep in mind if you do want to increase threat let's say you do want this process to go faster at any time you just increase it right here increase that to 20 okay now there are buster depending upon how many connections you have going on um, sometimes it does take some time so um, you know at this point you just find something else to do and uh, get a coffee whatever come back 10-15 uh, minutes and then you can go ahead and you know, uh, look at the details from your scan so at this point what I'm going to do here is I am just going to put this on pause and I'll come back so I can explain some of the details from this scan better after the scan is done okay so as you can see the scan was completed and um, there's a few different ways to go ahead and look at the results here. A very easy and um, effective way to go ahead and browse is to really just use the results tree here. And it gives a nice diagram of everything you scan, some um, uh, pages, directories, things like that. You can right click open in the browser view response for example we open in the browser here and there you have it looking at php code here print test so um this is a very good way again to kind of see each individual page to browse to get an idea really of how the website is structured okay here we have details on the particular page so um errors will come up you click the error and then if you want to look at the uh, the list view again laid out really nice and then the scan information is just going to give you an overview of everything that has been completed. So um, pretty straightforward now. I did increase the current number of running threads to 150. If you click uh, fast, I think it jumps to 200. Um, so when you click go faster, you're getting 200. Okay, um, so really, straightforward tool um, i hope i've explained this in a simple fashion again i didn't want to take something simple and drag it out into a long video um, i know myself when i'm watching a video i want to get straight to the facts digest it figure out if it's for me what can i use what can i use and that's one of the purposes of this channel i wanted to put together some some simple straightforward methodology 
and so we go over some programs and we're going to get into a lot more um, as we move forward um, and I want to thank everybody uh, for subscribing um, not a lot of subscribers at this point I think we're still a little under 250 but um, kind of tells me that yes indeed I should go ahead and work on some videos so everyone have a great one if you did like this please go ahead give it a thumbs up subscribe and have a wonderful day